Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a couple PvP replays for for you guys from the dual towers. I'm trying to like hide the names from from the top because like it, none of it has anything to do with like who we're fighting because I I solely want to uh, focus on my experience with humans so far uh, to see if I'm going to stay humans, if I'm going to go back to dwarf, and in everything else. So. I think that the first big takeaway out, out of everything is I think that humans really are better. Uh, the higher level you are, the more core power that you have. I, I don't think it's something that somebody around my power should should be doing uh, for where I'm at in the game. I think that uh, I think that dwarf is probably the best race for me to play right now because i'm not very good with lich <laughs> and it's been recommended by toby and to be completely honest with you guys uh i have not seen toby wrong with his advice to me yet so uh that being said uh let's jump in let's uh, see if we can find a uh, a couple of replays with people that are around my core power uh and see uh see a couple wins and I, i'll share what i like about humans so far all right so for our first fight we're going up against a sylph player in this this sylph player they have 13 million uh power trees uh they do have um decent archers so it looks like they are running with uh what was this okay so level six equipment on their huntresses and also their men worms so they're right right around uh where we are a little bit lower true power equipment uh because if we look at ours we we have level seven on our swords and we have level nine on our archers however everything else we have for us is level four so they have two level six two at level seven so we do have a little bit of a of, of an advantage there when we look at the stats and things we won in might and command we lost horribly when it came to magic and for stamina so this is going to be humans versus uh sylph um as you can see our archers did ab absolutely amazing so for our fights going going up up against sylph i am realizing that uh i think when it's power side versus power side uh, i think humans are doing ab absolutely amazing as long as their Rufios don't have any crazy like wave power prisms. So if their Rufios are just so strong that they take out our archers super easily, then we, we run into problems. If our archers are able to survive the, the Rufio jump in and are able to get some damage out, like we, we can see their Rufio just spinning around in, in the back line of us uh, and we're doing completely fine. Uh, our archers are getting a little bit lower, but but we're again we're we're doing fine. Our swords are tanking up front, and it's going to be a matter of time until our archers can start attacking. Once our archers can attack, we'll we'll be good. Uh, so they are losing some heroes. Their, their Ophidia is now getting hit by our our Ophidia, and I think for the matchup of human versus sylph, what what I'm seeing so far is power side versus power side. We're doing fairly good. I, I would say that not all of the fights, but the vast majority, we are able to scrape together a win unless their Rufio is just so ridiculously strong. Um, if it is uh, an inverted fight where our power side is going against their Sol side with all of the trees, I think that we are struggling a little bit as human going up against self. Uh, when I was playing self, I did notice that going up against humans uh for the most part it was almost an easy win so i think having the experience of playing self and knowing what what can re really affect me negatively has helped me when i go up against self but still going up against their soul side very very hard so for the next fight we're going to look at human versus dwarf so this dwarf player is right around our core power and as far as their like troop equipments and everything they do have level 8 snipers and they also have level 8 mechs so they are right around uh, our troop power uh, equipment and everything uh, and our core power so that makes a lot of sense when when we look at the stats and everything we actually won in might but we lost in all three other stats uh both noras for both sides went absolutely huge so when, when we jump into the actual fight, we can see that this is actually an inverted fight. And I think it's the same thing with, with Dwarf. The inverted fights can be a little bit tricky for me. Uh, I think for, for the, the humans with an inverted fight, if uh, if there's a pack of snipers, it really makes it hard for the, the Rufio to jump in. Otherwise, my, my Rufio will just uh, do completely fine. Like in this fight, 
my, my Rufio is just able to dance around that back line so well, and he is unfazed. The bottom side, all of the swordsmen are able to tank up uh, the snipers. So the first skill that that I did, and I, I believe um, I, I believe I did, was Earthquake from Gan. So I, I did not. So I was not able to do the Earthquake from, from Gan, but typically what, what I will do is I will do the Earthquake from Gan as, as an instant opener and put that right onto the enemy snipers. So I, I think that human versus dwarf is actually a pretty hard matchup. It's harder than I, I imagined at first. It's either I'm going to cut through the, the mechs and everything and my Rufio is going to put in significant work or I'm just going to lose because the dwarfs will eventually overpower one side uh, just because of the snipers. So if I'm able to deal with the snipers, uh, if I'm able to get the resurrections off, then I think that we have a chance, but we still have to be able to cut through all of those mechs. Like you, you can see on the top side right now, we have a long ways to go before getting through all of those mechs. And luckily for, for humans, we are able to just take down the dragons because of the archers. I, I think that that's a huge portion of, of, of the humans overall is the ability to kill dragons. Very similar to Lich, but slightly different play style. So anyways, I, I think that Dwarf uh, can be very difficult uh, depending on where I'm at. Uh, again, my troop equipment stuff is slightly above average, but it is nothing crazy at all. So I, I do agree with Toby, and I probably would be better off going as Dwarf uh, just for now. And actually, shockingly, I, I do not have any replays with uh, with us going up against Lich on our current replay stuff for, for the Dual Tower, which is really weird because I, I face a lot of Lich. So we will take a look at uh, humans. So we're going up uh, against another human and they have eight star on their swords and they have 10 stars on their, their archers. So, I mean, th this person is uh, very strong. And when we look, look at the stats, one of our saving graces was we were able to barely win in might, barely win in stamina, but we were able to win in command. So n not giving the enemies so many stats to win definitely helped us out. You can see their Nora did almost 150 million damage. Uh, our Nora did over 100, and our Dragon also put in some serious work. Uh, damage tanked, uh, the Swords did, did fantastic. So let's jump on in, and uh, I'll tell you about my, my thoughts with Human versus Human. I, I do think that Human versus Human is kind of fun. Uh, I, I enjoy opening up with Denji, although Gan is definitely an option as well. Same thing going up against uh, Lich, depending on the setups. So opening up with Denji is uh, pretty pretty strong. For Humans versus Humans, uh, I think uh, I I think that Rufio seriously is everything. Like we can see the giant prog from, from the first uh, Leo's Pride coming out from from our Rufio. Uh, our Rufio is going to spin back over, do it, do another sun in. Although this player is uh, very strong and uh, their troop equipment definitely is better, better than our, ours, our Rufio just did so much work. You can see our Rufio dropping down, but another big Leo's Pride proc comes out, and we're just able to pump out so much damage. Our Belrog is able to stay alive and is able to sun up some, some of the backline archers, while our Nora and everything does a bunch of damage. Now, the enemy is able to do a ton of damage in the middle of the battlefield, and that uh, that is concerning because then they can push right on up, but their archers are on either flank, so we are pretty good. So with humans versus humans, I, I do find this kind of, kind of fun. I think that the big things uh, for me to, to look at is the crowd control of, of the archers, our Rufio put, putting in work, of course, keeping Virion alive, and eventually taking down the enemy's dragon. Honestly, I probably should have uh, I probably should have already tagged the enemy's dragon, but I, I did not. Uh, tagging the enemy's dragon is, is absolutely huge when, when it comes to humans versus humans uh, because the archers have so, so much range and everything. So we're, we're pretty much able to, to break through on this bottom portion and that's what's going to ultimately let us win. So for humans overall, my, my thoughts, um, I think that I will stay human for a little bit longer. Uh, when the Dividation event comes up, I will be going pretty hard on that. So this next Lucky Wheel that comes out, I won't be able to go super hard on, uh, which I wanted to. But I think with what we have saved up, uh, we are going to go for the Dividation. I really want the uh, Two Minstrels because I think that... 
having the option of going to dwarf I, I think outweighs anything else so as much as uh, I do like humans I still think for me right now going dwarf is probably going to be better off for me so I want that option and I think keeping that option open is really important as far as like a peace of mind and, and every, everything else. I also want to try and get a, an Emerald Dragon. Uh, that way I can, uh, first of all, OGC Girl will be happy that we have an Emerald Dragon. But I also want to try that with, with humans because I, I think um, Call of the Wild is going to be absolutely huge at keeping the archers alive. So I do kind of want to wait until we can play around with an Emerald Dragon. Uh, but... I think for where I'm at, I, I, I'm kind of enjoying going back to humans. Um, for the first week or so, I felt really off and I was losing a lot of matches. Uh, for right now, I think the last dual tower that, that came out, I got a bunch of wins in, in a row. So I'm looking forward to doing more in dual tower with humans and trying to sharpen up my skills. So if you guys want to follow me on my human uh, journey or Art of Conquest journey in general, uh, please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Go check out all the cool stuff in the description below. We have the Patreon page if you want to further support this channel. Thank you to the Patreons out there. We have the merch store. We have Discord. We have so many cool things. Go check it all out. And I will see you guys tomorrow night for, for a live stream. Take care.